Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of how to prevent an empty text box and clear multiple text data. So let me show you guys how this works. I can clear the whole lot and supposing I enter data in here and leave some other data out. Let's say I leave this out. There we go. You see it's telling me it's asking me to enter the data here. Look at it flashing right there. And there's a message box that actually okay draw my attention to the empty cell. Okay, see that? So and uh, let's assume I have this data in there. Okay, click on print and there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'll take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we can put one of these together so let's do that now guys hi welcome to visual basic tutorial in this session i'm going to demonstrate how to prevent an empty text box in bb and clear multiple visual basic text box so let's start by clicking on create new project let's give that a name i'm just gonna call it vb VB underscore multiple text box multiple text box and let's click on OK. Make sure Visual Basic is selected Windows Forms application. Click on OK. Okay, that's my form ready. The next thing I'm going to do is to enter a text box and let's enter a label as well and the button there so i'm going to now kind of like populate the interface and just make it look a little bit busy and i'll get back to you guys as soon as i am done with the population of the interface Okay, this is how the interface looks like. It's just a, a simple interface. So for this gender, let's click on here and I'm going to click on edit and just let's edit it to female and male. There we go. That's gender taken care of. As for the proof of ID, there, there it is. Okay, those are the data for the proof of ID. And here, this is just a rich text box. Okay, so let's start by double clicking on exit. I'm going to take care of that first. And as for the exit, I'm just going to declare the following variable dim i exit as dialog as dialog result. Okay, right in there, i exit equals message box. Dot show confirm if you want to exit just for your information this tutorial is at a request of another viewer of mine exit there and let's just enter a comma there and I'm just gonna call this Let's just call it tutorial. Okay, and let's enter another command here. That's going to be message box button. Message box button does yet yes or no. Comma message box icon. So I'm going to make the icon a question mark. There we go. That's it done. Now let's use an if statement to validate the selection made if I exit equals dialog result dot yes then application dot exit okay I prefer to do it this way because the end user might end up making a mistake clicking on exit and you just lost all your data that is it guys so I exit is taken care of so now I've also added I've also added print button it's not required but you might as well learn how the print button is done so
to double click on print document and I'm going to also double click on print dialog and those two objects they are right here that you guys can see it there we go okay I'm going to select the print dialog now come into the property of the print preview dialog select it and let's make that print document make sure the document is called print document one now next thing we want to do is let's double click on this double click on the print button and right there you see this print preview that's the name of the print preview copy that come right in here double click on that paste that in there and just enter dot show dot show dialog there we go now let's come in here and we now want to double click on this print dialog itself print document one double click on print document one in there you enter e dot graphic okay dot draw you want you to draw the string and the draw string is right underneath here somewhere draw string Okay, and open a bracket and what do you want me to do t uh, rt receipt this very one dot text whatever text we have in there comma and i'm going to set a font for it now so that will be let's go for new font and my new font is going to be what let's say the font is going to be an area and we say comma 12 that's the size comma font font style dot make that bold and right here let's say comma again and that is going to be for the brush I want the brush to be black brush dot black there comma new new point and the new point is going to be zero by zero there that is it that's those are the lines of code that will print out the content on the rich text box so uh, have a good look at it now go to the next one here this is the important bit we want to be able to check to make sure this is not empty okay so now to do that we're going to use as follows let's double click on that first and we will use a for loop to get that sorted so let's declare a variable for dim let's call that t as control there and for each t in me dot control me dot controls there we go and I'm going to use an if statement if tie of t is a text box then what I want the system to now do is also use an if statement to check if there's anything in there if T dot text equals empty then I want the following first of all let's output a message and let us output something message box dot let's say enter value or enter a data enter a data there and the next thing is we say t dot focus there that's it yeah okay before i run it you see this message box that will loop as well let's get rid of it and just paste it up there else it's going to be looping and looping non-stop okay that is the very first one so i'm going to run that then we create one for the clear button as well which I don't have yet so let, let's see what's going to happen now all right let's assume I have some data in here and I have nothing at the other one 
click there we go enter a data and you see you can see the cost flashing there we can even change the color if I want to now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to copy this copy everything in here create one more button maybe I'm going to have to reduce the size of all of these buttons copy and drag this one is now going to be known as clear or reset reset and let's give the name btn reset yeah and double click on btn resets btn reset happens to be here because i copied it from there so i'm going to copy all of this and delete that and let's go back to btn reset and try it again let's see that's btn reset okay let's come back there i don't like that name that was meant to be btn all right get rid of that that's good that's much better double click okay that's my btn reset there so just get rid of this and give it a proper name right in there you see the text that i've copied here all the lines of code that i copied paste it right there and get rid of this i just want to clear now to clear all we need to do is this one we have to go and let's just change it to txt clear copy that paste that in here and get rid of this get rid of this and that is it that's clear taken care of so i should be able to clear multiple multiple text box with just these lines of code look at that from here down here so let's run it and see how the clear works as well there and enter data in there and let's click on the clear of course this will not do anything because i was meant to select something there and just click on reset there we go and we should be able to reset this too as well what is their names let's come in there check out the names does that one have a name i'm just going to call it cmb and that is going to be proof and the other one is going to be gender cmb gender right now back into the clear so we are able to take care of that as well cmb no b gender text or we can just say dot play oh yeah dot dot test equals that the next one is cmb proof dot text equals play there and we also need to just play the receipt dot play yeah and that is it so when i run the program now enter whatever value we want in there select something here and here and there so click on reset there we go it's working how, how we want okay my friend the next thing we'll do is let's see if this works the print so i'm going to enter those lines of codes in there and just see if it's going to print the way we want so let's click on print there we go look at that okay all we just need to do is click on this button there if you click on it there we go yeah it will be printing somewhere okay let's close that so my friend with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose i've been able to answer your message but before i leave let me just minimize this and show you the lines of codes one more time okay now that's the exit here we have the print we have the print dialog there and here that is my button that's actually from the user to enter data on any of the empty text box and finally we have the resets 
so with that friend i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you enjoyed so you have a nice day now bye for now